Senator Rubio. Thank you, uh, to, sorry, to Austin. I wanted to ask you, um, and re really, I'll just be, I guess, very quick in respect for all the people's time here. Um, these attacks from these, we continue to call them proxies. They're basically agents of the IRGC and the Iranians. They would not be occurring without the Iranians not just permitting them, but frankly facilitating them. Um, and the Iranians would not facilitate or permit them because, in fact, there was a pause in those attacks for some period of time. They would not facilitate or permit them unless they calculated that these attacks do not cross some threshold in their mind that, that if they cross that threshold, it would trigger a price, a response, that they, a price they don't want to pay, a response they don't want to see. Um, at this moment, I do not believe that we can argue that uh, we have a deterrence in, in place with these attacks. Um, and this is more of a comment than it is a question, although you're obviously free to comment, and I think we're very interested to hear what your response will be. But it is my deep belief that I hope is shared by the department um, um, that if we do not – I don't want a broader war with Iran. None of us have talked about I – mean, you know, I'm not one of those people that have out there been talking about airstrikes and starting a war with Iran as a, as a tinderbox to begin with. But if we do not have a credible – not just a deterrence, a credible deterrence with the Iranians, these attacks are going to escalate. They're going to come faster. They're going to spread beyond Syria and Iraq, and they will involve weaponry of increasing sophistication and lethality. And that is my biggest fear, is that we will find ourselves, if we do not soon establish a credible deterrent, they will begin to cross lines uh, that, will that will require not just a defensive posture on our front, but, uh, but Im Im imposing a cost on them. Um, I, one of the biggest, obviously, I, I share all the comments that have been made here about the horrifying incident involving Hamas and everything they've done in the past and, and moving forward, the, the need to be, stand with our allies. But I think this is the one that really, really, this is the one that has the threat to quickly spiral out of control, is that these groups escalating these attacks to include more places at a faster clip with more lethality and sophistication if we do not establish a credible deterrent quickly. Yeah, Senator, I, I agree with you that, uh, that um, if, they are, if they're not convinced that we will do what's necessary to protect our troops, then they will continue on as they are. But I've been clear, the President's been clear, that uh, that's something that we won't tolerate. And we will, we will do what's necessary to protect our troops. You saw me move uh, another carrier battle group. Uh, actually, it's, it's in the Med now. It's headed to the, uh, the, uh, the Gulf region. That gives us more capability, more strike capability. We have additional aircraft in the, in the region now. We have uh, the punch that's necessary to protect our interests, and, uh, and we're going to do what's necessary to, to, uh, uh, to do that. Well, I, I have uh, no question that we have the assets positioned in the region to impose a cost on Iran that they do not want to pay. I hope we never have to do it. I guess the fundamental question really becomes, do they believe we would actually do it? I'm not... Again, I'm not, I understand the complexity of the situation where something could trigger and suddenly this thing begins to move in a direction that spirals out of control. What I have real concerns about is their perception of what we are willing to do does, may not match up with what we're actually willing to do. Hence, at this moment, we do not have a credible deterrent. And, um, and I just, I, I, I'm, I sense from your answer that you share that concern. Sometimes, what, even when we say things, they may not believe us, even if we have the capability to do it. So it's one of those situations where we don't want there to be a shooting war, certainly, and the, seeing this thing escalate. But I think one of the things that guarantees escalation is the lack of a credible deterrent. It's a complex and serious matter, and, um, and one that I, I, I hope you, it sounds like you share my concern about it quickly spiraling here, uh, primarily because of uh, uh, Iranian perceptions of, of our willingness, not our capability, but our willingness to take the turn action.